G'day guys, here's the video that we have made of our new Tune 2 sign for our Christmas light display this year. It's utilising some P5 outdoor panels. Now the way that we've gone about this is to try to make a budget do-it-yourself enclosure, um, which we think most people could probably make with very basic limited tools like a drill and a saw to you know, drop a bit of timber up. Now the P5 panels are designed for outdoor use, the front of them the panels can be exposed to the elements um, however the back of them still need to be sealed up so this video goes a series goes about um, how we went about doing that I think that we also included how we configured uh, how we're driving the panels which is essentially using a Raspberry Pi um, loaded with FPP which is probably out of date by the time this video comes out um, which is then driving a color light card to drive the four by two P5 panels. All right, guys, um, hope you like it. Um, hope you might inspire you to build one yourself. Uh G'day, guys. We just thought we'd do a video showing some bits and pieces of our new Chinju sign we're going to build for our Christmas light display this year. Uh, we are going to utilize some P5 outdoor panels. Now, these are outdoor panels. They're uh, sealed on the front compared to our indoor panels. And seem to be becoming more and more popular. One of the tricky aspects of using an outdoor panel is if you want to keep the front exposed is you need to come up with a way to make an enclosure to seal up against the silicon seal as part of you know, the panel. These come, panel, outdoor panels come with the, the silicon seal. Um, so basic specs is going to be a four by two um, P5 panels. We're going to be using a color light card in conjunction with a Raspberry Pi. Um, you get the adapter switch, some cables, power supplies, pretty standard sort of stuff nowadays for these panels. Now, the approach that we've decided to trial for our panels is to get some, I'm trying to get this down so you can see it, some marine ply. Uh, this is just some six mil marine ply that we've obviously cut out some holes in it. Now we made a quick template out of some paper, um, you know, to match the screw holes and the access holes that we require for our panel. So we need to be able to access, obviously, the, you know, the data and ID16 connectors, the power and ground connectors, and the other connected so we can daisy chain our panels together so this is quite rudimentary so to speak it's just a as i said some six mil marine ply um some people have been making these out of aluminium and getting them you know cut out and uh, we did another one for our larger matrix out of Cairo, but we just thought we'll try a bit of a budget way of doing this and so that sort of matches up to our holes so we'll be able to seal That'll seal up the front uh, for our panels. A bit hard to see, sorry about that, terrible. And we'll obviously screw them from behind with some M4 screws with the appropriate uh, length. And hopefully we will be good to go. So we'll try and document some of this build process. Um, so yeah, it's gonna be just the, that's gonna be the front of the panel. We're just gonna have a, cheap made up timber enclosure and we'll seal the back of it up with some fans and vents and hopefully it'll work so we've got our uh, p5 panels all screwed into our uh, marine ply backing plates um, one of the ways that we're going to build the rest of the enclosure so this is we're trying to do this as a real budget build is we'll just grab some um, pine this is nothing special we have um, Painted it up beforehand, we've cut and shut this to suit, but there's been no special you know, tools been used uh, to cut this. One of my thoughts processes behind this build is, let's keep it as simple as possible. So all I've just done is put a bead of silicon between, you know, the, the obviously this is the front of our panels are mounted under there, all screwed in. Um, we're gonna build the enclosure for part before we you know, run some cables and stuff. That was our thought process anyway. Um, yeah, so we're just going to clamp our 
bit of silicon along there. We're just going to clamp him up, put some screws in from the front, and hopefully we will be good to go. Just continuing on with the enclosure, we're just putting some side walls uh, on it. Same sort of process, just some cheap pine. So this is a budget build, a um, bit of silicon, beat it up. Now I could have used some other corking stuff, but hey, I had to chew with black silicon, so that's what I was going to use. As I said, there's no fancy miter joints being used on this. Um, I don't have table saws or anything like that, so I thought I'd try and make it in, in a way that other people might be able to you know, replicate without you know, a big workshop or you know, some fancy tools, etc. So, there we go. Push you through. Line him up, we'll put some screws up from the, from the front, should be good to go. So just moving on to the rest of the um, enclosure, same process as the other side. Feed of silicon up, um, painted piece of timber uh, to seal on this other side. Now the carpenters and joiners out there are going to be absolutely cringing, no doubt about the way this is filled, but um, hey I'm not a carpenter, definitely not. Uh, so we would just thought we are trying build something that other people would be able easily to replicate. Hence, the use of no fancy tools, because I don't have them as well. So we've got the basics of the outside of the tune to enclosure made. Um, as I said, it's pretty rudimentary. It's definitely not carpentry skills shown whatsoever so just for in the corners of each of the inside we're just going to use some little cheap brackets um, just to mount up probably midway just to give our cheap timber a little bit of a support um, I've used these before they work quite well we just got to be mindful to you know a bit of access room for your connectors as such um, we'll whack a couple of screws into that and that should tidy that up together. Now we do need to come up with a way of sealing the back. Uh, as I said, we are trying to do this with very basic tools. Uh, the best method obviously would be to, you know, cut a rebate in and have a nice panel that slides in, but we'll look at something else. Now, I don't know what the order of this uh, video is gonna be. We may tackle the back. We may start doing the fun bit with the wiring and mount some power supplies and some configurations, we'll see. So this is the inside of our outdoor P5 panel tune two side. That's pretty basic. So this has been a budget build. So we've tried to keep materials basic and what people can make at home. So essentially how it's working, we've got our pretty standard um, way people are driving panels nowadays. We have a, a Raspberry Pi, which is loaded with FPP um, that's connected to a color light card. The color light card has got multiple outputs we're just utilizing two, so number output one is sending data you no know, daisy current to the top panels and output two to the bottom panels. As you can see we've got a couple of power supplies uh, so each power supply is driving four panels. Uh, one thing to note with outdoor P5 panels they do have a higher current draw than indoor P5 panels. Um, so how we're going to seal the back up is essentially a method we've utilized before is quite simply a piece of coro Get back so you can see what's going on And you'll notice there's a couple of air vents in there And we will seal the back this coro up to the timber there. So we're extracting heat out with a couple of fans And we have some input vents at the bottom the reason why we put them in the bottom, if there is any sort of moisture ingress that does happen, uh, it's giving it an outlet to, you know, to drain out. But we have tested it and it was nice and dry. So that's always a win. You're probably thinking what these, this here is and here. Uh, this is a removable access panel. It unscrews, so in case we need to get to our Raspberry Pi for some reason. Um, makes it easy if you need to do an FPP upgrade or your pie fails or it won't boot or so you can just get access to it you should be able to do it all generally all via um, 
the Ethernet ports that we've put in there. We've got a couple of um, uh, there's our Ethernet connector coming in. Now it goes into our Pi, so we you know, we can push our sequence information out there for your Tune 2 sign. So we'll get the back of it all sealed up, and we'll give you another look. So you can see we've finished uh, sealing the back of the P5 panel enclosure up. Uh, we've got our Coro uh, in place. So basically how we've done about it, we fit it off at our Coro up. We use some of our uh, 3M, uh, this is some 3M waterproof like gaffer tape. Um, you know, we tape the edge over, you can't sort of see over each edge. And then we basically just put this plastic capping, which is just like for plasterboard edging sort of no, it's just the plastic capping it's nothing special um, we painted it just a quick bit black and we just put that over just to put a little bit of even pressure across the surfaces there where the coro is um, now we didn't tape this bottom edge um, again in case we get any moisture like in so it's not full at the back of it so the back of the panel this coro is not sealed to that lower timber look it's not going to get any water ingress up that way so that's how we've sealed the back of our enclosure up now we've used this method personally before um i'm not going to say it's 100 percent guaranteed for you to work but this is just what we've used as part of our budget p5 outdoor enclosure build okay thanks